Hi everyone, my name is Serafina Young and I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Minnesota. I'm going to be presenting our work on understanding both the non-visual and visual needs for the design affordances of laser cut models. This work was done with my collaborators Rachel Chang, Fang Ying Liao, Zhen Cao, and advised by Professor Bing Yu Chen. In recent years, laser cut objects have been a key component of the maker movement due to their ability to enable rapid prototyping at a more affordable cost. Maker movements such as do-it-yourself assistive technology have also enabled people with disabilities to make artifacts that fulfill their own needs and engage in the greater maker community. However, compared to most 3D printed objects which are usually produced in one piece, laser cut objects require a manual assembly step which involves complex manipulation of small detailed pieces. This is an overlooked accessibility barrier for blind and visually impaired or BVI individuals who engage in making and prototyping. As laser cut assembly can be tedious and challenging for both BVI and sighted users, recently emerging systems have been developed to help facilitate the assembly process. Roadkill provides laser cutting plans to enable fast assembly, and Daedalus presents a design framework to help BVI individuals successfully assemble laser cut models. However, current solutions to make laser cut models easier to use tend to work around existing models, which are still inaccessible. Therefore, we conducted an empirical study to understand how the design of laser cut models themselves can be made fundamentally more accessible to both BVI and sighted users. Based on the impact laser cut assembly has on usability and the design process of laser cut pieces, we conducted a mixed methods controlled study focusing on the assembly process to understand, one, what strategies both sighted and BVI users share in common when assembling laser cut models, two, what strategies they don't share in common, and three, which tactile design properties of laser cut components have positive or negative influences on assembly. To assess a representative sample of current laser cut models, we had seven sighted and seven BVI participants each assemble five laser cut models, which represented the most common joint types and combinations currently used in laser cutting. This was determined based on a survey of the Thingiverse online database that was completed in the prior work. After each assembly task, participants reported their strategies and self-assessed difficulty for each model. To ensure comparable data across BVI and sighted groups, we included an assembled reference for each laser cut model that was only accessible by touch. Previous work demonstrated that BVI users need a reference model to complete laser cut assembly, and the touch restriction ensured that both sighted and BVI users would approach the assembly task with equal reference information. We employed a variety of quantitative and qualitative measures in this study. We measured the time taken to complete assembling each model, the assembly accuracy based on the number of accurate laser cut joint pairings, participant self-reported difficulty rating for each model, the distribution of assembly behaviors across different laser cut models, as well as qualitative data from interviews and video footage. In this presentation, we will focus on discussing the qualitative findings. Please see our paper for more details. We synthesize our main findings from the labeled activity distributions, participant interviews, and observations of video footage. We found strategies which were common across sighted and BVI participants, ones that were used exclusively by sighted participants, and issues relating to physically manipulating the model across both participant groups. We found that features inherent to individual laser cut pieces, such as aligning edges with the same lengths together, were used by both BVI and sighted users. Both BVI and sighted users mentioned aligning edges and observing for protrusion, which would indicate a lack of edge alignment. However, many alignment cues were more visually and not haptically salient, causing sighted users to benefit from this strategy more often than the BVI users during assembly. In one of our laser cut models, there were slightly curved versus flat alignments of similarly shaped pieces that sighted users could tell apart but the slight difference was not salient to BVI users through touch. We also found that both sighted and BVI users use clues and shape patterns that are shared across multiple pieces, such as symmetrical, unique, and similar piece shapes to help them figure out how to assemble the model. We found an interesting contrast in strategy where BVI users benefited more from unique piece shapes which are more easily distinguished through touch 
while sighted users were confused by them and preferred to work with similarly shaped pieces. We also identified several vision-dependent assembly strategies, such as global observation and inference, where sighted users visually assess multiple pieces to look for joining clues without touching anything. For example, sighted users observe contour con continuity across different pieces to figure out how they would be arranged together, and also observe the presence of small protrusions around piece joints as clues for assembly direction. Sighted participants also made use of piece features that were haptically inaccessible, either due to their global nature of spanning multiple separate pieces, or the smaller joint details that are harder to tell by touch. For example, they use observation of joint distribution across all pieces to determine what the adjacent joining pieces should be, as well as how the pieces fit into the overall model. Apart from strategies, we also determined overall physical features of the laser cut model that made assembly difficult. For example, there was a stark contrast between sighted users' ability to make inferences and complete assembly using mid-air comparison, and BVI users who struggled to stabilize models that came apart easily. Data from our activity labeling during assembly also shows that BVI users spent significantly more time stabilizing the assembled model than sighted participants. We found that both sighted and BVI users struggled with the fixed order in which many laser cut models must be assembled, though this design feature is often to interlock or stabilize the model itself. Multiple sighted and BVI participants recognize this feature without having an efficient solution for assembly. We also found that various features of individual laser cut joints made using them highly inaccessible for BVI individuals. For example, small mortise joints are extremely hard to perceive by touch, and precise joining angles are difficult to align and maintain without any visual feedback. The struggle was compounded by the lack of accessible haptic feedback on whether a joint was completely assembled or not. In addition to the highly precise joining angles, the design of laser cut joints to have a tight fit caused uneven haptic feedback during assembly, making it hard for BVI users to evaluate the process of their own assembly. From this work, we found that both sighted and BVI users share many common approaches towards assembling and using laser cut models. We found that only sighted users could access more global and joint specific features of laser cut pieces due to the extra visual information. BVI users shared a common difficulty in physically manipulating small laser cut pieces and the joints, which are even smaller. And interestingly, we also found that uniqueness of piece shape was very helpful for BVI users, but contrasted sighted users' tendency to rely on semantic inferences. Based on these findings, we generated several design implications for more accessible laser cut models. Because BVI users can be particularly skilled at recognizing and assigning meaning to distinct shape patterns perceived through touch, making individual laser cut joints more haptically distinct can support better haptic matching of pieces instead of only visual matching. Our findings also showed the need for haptic accessibility in physically joining laser cut pieces. Cantilever-based joints, shown in the top right, can easily be adopted to lower friction allow wiggle room during assembly, and provide clear haptic feedback to BVI users when a joint locks in place. Living hinges are also a cutting method that can be adapted to help users form laser cut models without assembling joints. Both BVI and sighted users struggled with the restricted order of assembly in most laser cut models, making it a big issue. Fixed order elements of laser cut models should be made clear to users before the assembly stage, such as making specific pieces more perceptually distinct, or supporting alternative methods of joining the model in case someone needs to reassemble. More general design implications apply to not only laser cut models, but also for any other physical artifact to be accessible to both BVI and sighted users. The design of many objects, including laser cut models, revolves around assumptions of knowledge that are exclusive to sighted people. Without extra information, it is difficult for BVI people to access physically disconnected spatial patterns through touch, or evaluate information of a scope that is larger than what can be touched. We advise future designers to keep these principles in mind when designing physical artifacts. Please see our paper for more complete details of our findings and discussion. Thank you for listening.